On Saturday, I was uh, having some kava with my uh, kava group, the boys back uh, in the Fairfield. And then one of the boys uh, said, oh, there's a tsunami in Tonga. Uh, we were in a happy mood during the time we were choking to each other, especially as we start the kawa on a Friday, uh, Saturday evening. And then everybody were dead silent. And I got a sense that we were in the same situation, same kind of thinking. Nobody said a single word for perhaps, I would say about 10 minutes. But we were playing guitars, we were playing sing song, and we just drop it. And, and um, I, I think during that time, I, um, one of the boys um, turned up the volume of uh, uh, his phone on the Facebook. Somebody was live from Tonga. And I straight away I didn't hear the actual word that was said. But I, my, my mind, my, the flashes of, of, of memories back from 1981, Cyclone. That was so devastating. I was a young boy and didn't know where to run, where to hide. My worries was uh, that Tonga is so flat, so low. Uh, a wave could, by, by watching those waves that gone through China, in other part of the world, that Tonga will be submerged if one of those waves come. And that's the biggest worry that I've got, that uh, where will people run? Nowhere. I just felt that I, I, I felt as the chairperson for the Tonga community here, I have a, a role to fulfill for, my, for the people here and not able to communicate with anybody. It's so frustrating and so stressful this time. It's the most uh, uh, stressful thing. It's not knowing what's happening.